Welcome to day 23 of Vlogmas. Y'all, we are two days away. It's like, wow. But here y'all see me tackling baby girl's hair. We've got to get ready for shampoo. I always take my time and um, comb through her hair prior to shampooing it. I always start from the end to make my way up to the roots. As you can see, we got some build-up product, but that's cool because... The way I shampoo her hair, it's going to be squeaky clean, okay? So, I'm just going through each section that had a ponytail and just combing through. I don't want to leave anything untouched, unloved. Um, it may look like I'm being rough on her, but I'm not. She was trying to watch a movie while I was trying to do this. So, we had to get a pep talk. Hey, let's get through this so you can watch the movie. So, yeah. Now this part, I do this every single time. I shampoo her hair, I go through section by section. I'm gonna save some time on the video and not show that. But I just wanted to capture this little piece. I go through and I get that scalp because we, we don't need that. We don't need that. Yes, we are at the kitchen sink. Please do not act like y'all never shampooed y'all hair at the kitchen sink or y'all mama didn't, okay? Before we got into those salons. Um, I shampoo her hair with three different shampoos. Um, I do hit it with the Cantu. You're going to see me hit it with a product that I suggest for everyone, whether you have relaxed or natural hair, color treated, whatever. Um, it should be come up in the next few clips. What is called 1212? There is plant base. When I say this stuff gets your hair clean without stripping it, chef's kiss. Um, I use, for both of us, I use their shampoo, their conditioner, and their leave-in conditioner. So, I really highly, highly, highly suggest that um, y'all get on board with that. But, I'm just going to shut up and just let the music play. Alright. Take a bullet trying to save me Then I'm left to do what I'm making you bleed And that's a whole lot of love ain't trying to waste it Like we be running them out and never make it That's just too bitter for words, don't want to taste it That's just too bitter for words, don't want to taste it But I think that I'm done Let's give it up for the scalp Y'all see that? Y'all see that? Make sure you scratch your scalp before you start shampooing your hair Okay? And this is the shampoo I was, I mean, the conditioner I was telling you all about. Um, I saturated her hair with it. For how long did I let it sit up under the plastic cap? I can't tell you. We had a lot to do. And 
It only made sense to just go ahead and just let it sit while we were taking care of other things. So don't, I can't even tell you, but we let, I let that bad boy sit so it can saturate all the strands and so her hair can be nice and soft. I always take her hair in four sections um, and to detangle that way and to spray more product because I just find it easier for me to make sure that I completely detangle and I've gotten everything straightened out as much as possible. Then as you see, I go through with the wide, to wide tooth comb, excuse me, and I'm getting ready to blow dry. Don't come for my blow dryer. We're going to get another one. You know, them teeth be falling out. However, I do not put heat to Madison's hair often. Um, she gets her hair shampooed once a month, so that's the only time it gets blow dried. After that, there is no more heat to her hair for the remaining month. Now, what you're going to see in the next few clips when I do hit it with the flat iron, which is one press through. This is because of the particular style that she that she asked for. And I just needed her hair to be a, a little bit more straight so I can style it the way I needed to. But like I said, I only put heat, hence the blow dryer, to my daughter's hair once a month. I keep it healthy. And that's it, y'all. I keep it braided up or in some ponytails. So when she asks for styles like this, it's no problem. Now listen, lace paste, that is what I use on my wigs, y'all. And it's good for natural hair. As you can see, I just spread the hair out and just put it throughout because like I, like I said, I'm just trying to do one pass through. I'm not trying to do a silk press. When I'm silk pressing, it's a totally different process. So I'm gonna shut up, for real. Okay, bye.
Hey y'all, now listen, we rolled this on Thursday. I'm unrolling it. Madison's in the back eating, watching TV. She has her CMOS detox mask on. I was gonna do, I'm doing mine later. But y'all, we unrolling, we unrolling. I cannot wait to see the finished product. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this. Yep, that, that's the wig. That's the wig I just unrolled. I cannot um, explain the level of frustration and irritated that I am in this part. I was over it. Over it. So we just going to go ahead and throw on her. I have not worn this. I've had her since the beginning of the year. So I'm excited. Okay, nail time. Am I a nail tech? Absolutely not. I play on my own fingers. Um, yeah, y'all. I really listen. I just go with the flow. Okay. Um, I'm not paying nobody else to do my nails anymore. It's things that I would like done. And I figure what better way than for me to learn how to do it myself. And that's what I'm doing. So for any professionals out there, please do not come for me. Um, I figured I'll just press record and capture me doing my nails. That's it. That's all. But I am no nail tech. Okay.
Okay, let's talk about it. Um, I'm pretty sure I probably said something already. I haven't done the voiceover yet, and I haven't edited um, this vlog yet. However, the level of frustration that I have right now. Okay, I did not take in consideration pre-designing my nails would really um, bother as far as me, what I want to say, using the solid gel glue and as far as me flash curing just to make sure the nail is in place and I know I would have to fully cure, excuse me, under my larger light, my lamp, right? I did not take in consideration the base coat, the two coats of white plus the top coat plus the acrylic. That is what base is one, two, polish three, top four, and um, acrylic five. I did not take that in consideration. So I'm moving as if, okay, cool. I can do what I normally do and just flash cure, boom, keep it moving. Duh, Marquise, when you flash cure any other time, you're just using the, you know, the new, like the, there's no product on top. So, of course, it can flash cure it to really hold it securely in place. Then, you know, till to, to you get light to the larger lamp. No. Baby, when I say that's why that video abruptly, I, I just had to stop because I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. I got to focus. My nails is lifting. I can hear the, it was just a lot. So, I finally picked up the camera to explain it. But, yeah, that's what's going on. So, always make sure you wear your gloves. Wear some type of protection. Um, I do see some um, ladies, if they don't have the gloves, they do put on um, SPF before they get up under their lamps. So, I, I think that I've been rotating my hands for the last three minutes. Like, I'm going to take a break now because I'm talking to you all. But now it's like it's not moving. Like, they're secure. Like, it's... They're feeling secure now. I'm feeling better about it. I wasn't even worried. Like, even when I was doing it, some like, if they didn't have, if I didn't pre-design them, I would go in, you know, after our flash cure for like 30 seconds and get the spillage and, you know, do all that jazz and all that. Oh, no, baby. I ain't care about no spillage tonight. I said, you can spill and I will clean you up afterwards. But this is it. And I am excited about tomorrow. Yes, I did. Madison's nail. She has white nails with rhinestones. I'll capture that. She was sleepy. Um, I did both of our toes. Of course, we're we're white nails, white toes. Okay, that's what we're doing. We will see y'all tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I know y'all tired of looking at my nails, but listen, I worked hard on this set, so let's appreciate it. Let's give it up for the girlies. Okay. This your girl, Marquise Rochelle. Don't forget to take time out for yourself. Show up for yourself. And I appreciate y'all for hanging with me. Bye.